The Atat Nawats is recorded on Treaty 6 territory, and we give thanks to the First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people who first called this land home. Tensa, hello, bonjour. Pili nisi kason. Anot smakti, pinaso banik. Welcome to the Atak Nolets for the Common Cold Project. I'm Bailey M.A.T. Eskew, who thinks that there's two things Canadians can agree on. One, our multiculturalism is our strength. And two, food is what brings us together. So, today we're making Bannock. So, if you would like to bake along with me at home, what you're going to want to get out of your pantry right now is sugar, baking powder, salt, butter, well... If you have lard, use lard. That's what my Kokum's recipe called for, but who has lard on hand nowadays? Flour, milk, or water. Even, you can literally even use soda water if you don't have baking powder on hand. The world is your oyster when it comes to Bannock. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you are going to dump your ingredients in. There's no real measurements to this. You kind of just go until your heart says no. Um, you're going to want to put in a little bit of salt, not too much, not too little, but a little bit more than I put in here. And then you add in baking powder, just enough so that it's going to rise. Add in a little bit of sugar. Then we're gonna add in our butter or lard if you have and crumble it up. Basically all you're gonna do now is add in a little bit of liquid at a time and combine your dough. And then you're going to knead and knead and knead your dough for what's going to feel like hours. I promise you this is an amazing arm workout. You wanna bank it roughly one inch thick. I made mine too thick and as a result it took about 45 minutes to bake in the oven when it should only take you about 20. But poke it with a fork to let some air through and then stick it in your oven at 350 degrees until golden brown. And then oh my gosh look at that. Bannock is the perfect blank canvas. It's crispy on the edges, soft and chewy in the middle, and perfectly delicious all around. You can enjoy it savory, or you can enjoy it sweet with honey and jam, which is my absolute favorite way to eat Bannock. I'm taking a page out of Binging with Babish's book and taking this to the Clean Plate Club. That's it from me for today. So stay cool, stay warm. A piak nalak.